Ladies, welcome back to The Feminine Mystery. My name is Azalea Dawn, and today I wanted to mix it up and have a little bit of a different video, all about elegant and attractive nails for every day. Now, this is a topic I think is quite interesting just because there are so many different things going around online about what good-looking, attractive nails are. Do they have to be red? Do we want those long acrylic nails? Or do we want something short, plain, and simple? Or maybe something in between? I'm here to touch on all of these topics today, specifically because if you're a part of my audience or looking into joining my audience, if you are, then maybe you're more so interested in something that looks good, looks attractive, looks seductive. It's really contributing positively to the overall picture of you as a whole and your attraction rather than um, maybe like self-expression or creativity. You might really be interested in what's going to look attractive and what's not. Well, I have done the work for you. I have asked a variety of men from different cultures, internationally, all of which have money. And we're talking, I asked very many, okay? We're talking more than 20 and got long form answers. I'm here to tell you all about what you should be paying attention to if you want elegant but also attractive nails. So without further ado, let's get into it. First things first, neatly manicured nails must be a priority. One of the things that I found really interesting doing my research for this was that a lot of people are actually contrary to, you know, what etiquette might suggest or social norms or what people think might be ideal behavior, a lot of people are not super comfortable with extended periods of hard eye contact and therefore their eyes tend to wander all across these different areas of your body. They're looking at these different aspects of who they're speaking to and one thing that can really grab eyes are our hands because many of us we speak with our hands we gesture we point we hold things we show people things and therefore a lot of times when we're speaking especially in romantic close up or professional settings people's eyes can go straight to our hands it's like this little reptilian thing in our brains we're looking for movement and hands are moving so people are very likely to see your hands when when you're out and about almost even more than they're going to actually see your bare feet if you have a pedicure or not so neatly manicured nails must be a priority there is nothing off-putting to a great majority of people than dirty ill kept bare and generally not the best looking nails it is something that can really kill attraction very quickly especially in cultures that really value cleanliness right they value femininity in women they value the fact that you don't look like you are repairing old motorcycles on the weekends with your hands with different nails you know all jagged different sizes dirt under your nails all kinds of things just in the crevices it makes it look like you have very poor hygiene when you have very gross nails and it can be something that really sticks in people's minds and creates an overall negative impression of you that trust me is very hard to break once you have it so the best thing to do is make sure that neatly manicured nails are a priority for you that you're constantly looking constantly keeping things up and that you have a plan in place to make sure that your nails always look nice and neatly manicured above all else Next, ladies, the best manicure is the one that you can maintain. When it comes to deciding between gel nails, acrylic nails, natural nails with, you know, regular nail polish, what to do, right? It's a lot of choices that we can make, but I really think the most important thing is to understand your unique lifestyle and what is actually going to work for you and your longevity when it comes to your manicures. So what can you actually maintain? When it comes to different lifestyles, if you are somebody who you do have a job that, you know, requires you to work with your hands, maybe you are a nurse or something like that, and you simply cannot wear nail extensions to your job or to your work, maybe you're a chef in a kitchen or something like that, you have a job that requires you to use your hands often and to keep them very short, very clean as far as like your nails go, well, then you have to work around that. Whereas if you're a person, maybe you are a mom, 
maybe a bit more domestic. You have a lot of things to do with your hands that are a little bit different. Maybe you're doing a lot of, you know, household chores, you're washing dishes, you're cleaning things, and that puts a lot of wear and tear on your nails. Well, then you're going to have a different consideration there. In that case, maybe having gel manicures, right, that gel that is a hard layer where they cure it under UV light, not just something on the bottle that says gel because it's very different, right? When you actually cure the nails under your UV light, excuse me, and it creates that hard layer that's going to extend the longevity so that every time you're bashing and hitting something, scraping your nails against something, you're still going to come out with nails that look good over time and a manicure that's lasting you to that two week point that's ideal. If you're somebody who maybe you are a chronic nail biter, right, you have a different need than the other two categories here. In your case, maybe acrylics, even if they're short acrylics, are going to be the best solution for you because they're going to literally prevent you from having access to your nail and biting anything. Because trust me, if you try to actually bite into an acrylic, it is not a very doable experience. So that's going to be a different consideration for you. But overall, when it comes to the type of manicure period that is the best for you, you want to think about what you can actually maintain given your individual lifestyle and go from there. Now, one thing that we always need to be maintaining as well is healthy, shiny hair. And one thing that can definitely help you do that is a great hair oil. Now, in contrast to other brands that use, you know, heavy, thick oils like castor oil that just kind of sit on the outside of your hair and coat it, right, which can be beneficial for other reasons, but this is going to be something that's formulated very differently. I use science to sort things by molecular weights to actually get oils that are going Going to penetrate deep into the hair follicle so they're not just sitting on top of the hair they're actually penetrating into the hair shaft and giving you that nutrition that you need this is different because it just makes you look like you naturally have healthy shiny hair instead of having something sitting on the outside of your hair so if you'd like to check it out the azalea dawn hair oil i definitely um our brand sells on amazon so you can check the link in the description below and pick things up there it's going to be at a price that you love because I definitely understand that we all need to be saving money and that price that you're paying is still getting you great quality packaged in Italian glass yes literally I imported things literally from Italy for my brand so check it out below there's a link in the description box let's get back to the video now finally ladies, let's get into the meat of this video. What kind of nails do men generally prefer? Well, men generally prefer short nails in solid, vivid colors. Now this is something where we hear a lot about, you know, red nail theory. Oh, wearing real red nail polish and what that can do, you know, as far as attraction for a guy. And trust me, I'm not against red nail polish. In fact, as I'm recording this, I actually have red nail polish on right now. It is definitely a favorite for me and my skin tone. That said, as I actually reached out to more and more men and asked about this specifically, the thing that was very consistent was that one, while some women can definitely pull off those long stiletto manicures you know you're maybe like more of a Christine Quinn type from Selling Sunset you're very dramatic and that just suits your personality sure or maybe if you're working as some kind of dominatrix like Julia Fox once did again it kind of fits the bill there but in terms of you know everyday women who are just trying to engage in respectable relationships with you know more affluent men and you want to figure out what's going to be attractive what I found is definitely that you want to go for short right so close to your actual nail bed like close to where your nails actually would fall naturally just kept short right nails that are manicured in bright colors the bright color part is very important you don't want to be going for things like black or brown or grays things that are a little bit drab and dreary you want to be going for things that make you seem as though you're bright, happy, upbeat, 
positive things like that because people are definitely looking at your nails for cues of your personality so you're definitely going to get a lot more traction out of colors right like blues and reds pinks things like that that just make people happy when they see them because a lot of the world you know is taken over by neutral colors or functional colors so people don't often see things like oranges reds greens etc out in nature especially when they're working mostly in office buildings etc they're mostly looking at more utilitarian color palettes to begin with so when you have something on your nails that's like a vivid pink it really introduces and injects that overall positive vibe into the space and it really brightens other people's day to see that so that's one thing that i definitely learned from all of this but like i said if you maybe have like a bit of a different take and something that you like i would just suggest that you experiment with color but be mindful of the length because a lot of people do not like those long stiletto coffin style nails especially in their personal relationships they don't want to look like they're with somebody who might be what we might call a professional if you catch my drift now ladies that's going to be it for this video if you've enjoyed it please leave a like below and check out the other videos on my channel again my name is azalea dawn and i'll see you in my next video